Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss the cybersecurity framework and specifically we're going to be discussing the four tiers and the profile of the cybersecurity framework. In the prior five sessions, we discussed the five core functions which are identified, detect, protect, respond, and recover. So if you have any questions about those concepts, please go back to the prior session because I'm going to be assuming you understand what a function is, what a category is, what a, what a subcategory is. Because we are going to be using the knowledge that we learned from the five core functions or the five core tenants in order to create a profile. And from the profile, we're going to classify ourselves as an organization under which of the four tiers do we belong in the ecosystem of the cyber security world. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. Looking at the big pictures, once again, we're going to start with the core functions, which we have five of them, and we're going to, I'm going to go over them extremely briefly. The first one is identify. And what are we identifying? Identifying what we have to protect, what we need to protect. Identifying our assets, such as hardware, software, network, processes, and including personnel. Then once we identify those, we are going to protect them. How are we going to protect them? Well, we're going to need to learn how to defend them, whether we use firewall or any other cybersecurity techniques, protecting. Then we need to detect. What is detecting? Detecting is an ongoing process, making sure if someone, if there is a breach, we are aware of it. We are detecting the breach. Four is respond. And as the word respond imply looking on how to respond now again each one of these functions will have categories and subcategories then at the end we recover and what needs to be done at the recovery to do what to get back online in quote or working at full capacity so these five core functions we discussed 23 categories and they are separated among those five then we have 108 subcategories for the 23 categories. Now, how do we use this information as an organization? The first thing that the organization will have to do, they will have to create what we called a target profile. And what is a target profile? Based on, based on our business, based on our mission, based on our uh, risk management, based on our priorities, what we do is we create a risk assessment to determine what should be our desired cybersecurity outcome? How do we do so? Well, we're going to be looking at those categories and subcategories based on our business. Which categories and subcategories do we need to select? Now, we're not going to, there's a good chance they may not all apply to your company, but the point is you want to know which one are relevant, applicable to your company, and basically list them. This, these are the categories and subcategories, which is the controls that I need to have for my company. This is my target profile. How, do I, how did I create this? Well, I reviewed the functions, their categories, and their subcategories. Then what you do is you're going to be truthful with yourself. You're going to assess your current cybersecurity practices. And how do you do so? You will map your current cybersecurity practices again to the functions and to the categories. Now you have the target. You have the ideal where you should be. What's the ideal target, which is the target profile? You look at your current profile and guess what? The difference between them is what we call gap analysis. What does that mean? It means you need to analyze the differences. Where are you lacking in cybersecurity between? How do you know? Well, you look... You selected, this should be the best for me based on what I do. This is what I have right now, current profile. The difference is the gap analysis. Then you're going to have to look at the gap analysis and prioritize actions to close the gap. Simply put, you have to 
implement based on the organization priorities. You'll have to develop and execute action plan to achieve the desired cybersecurity, which is your target profile. Now, this is important for a business because businesses will take this will take this very seriously. And the reason is you are trying to protect yourself. Remember, if you if, if you got a cybersecurity attack, it might put some businesses out of business. So it's very important that businesses take their cybersecurity seriously. And that's why this topic is relevant for CPAs, CMAs, accountant people, because we they, they are treated as business advisors. So that's why you need to know this for your CPA exam. That's why you need to learn about this on your CMA on your CMA exam. So basically, but basically you have to understand under your current profile, you have to have basic basic security like data security, data backup, data encryption. If you don't have them, well, you should have them. If you don't have them, then there's a gap analysis. You have to, you have to basically get those basic protection. Now, after you have the profile, then you have to classify yourself basically under four tiers. Okay, where do you stand? Are you? partial? Are you risk informed? Are you repeatable? Or are you adaptive? So simply put, you have to basically determine what level are you in the cybersecurity. So at least you're aware of where you are. So that's very important. What we need to do now is go over through each one of these tiers separately to determine, to, to explain them. Now bear in mind, this is the least mature like basically here you are a novice, you are an amateur, and this is you are most mature. And we're going to see what each what each level implies. Tier one is called the partial tier. At this level, the organization cybersecurity practices are reactive. They're ad hoc. What does that mean? It means they have no plan. They're waiting for something to happen, and hopefully they're hoping that nothing will happen. Then they will react based on that. They're not aware of the cybersecurity risk or they have limited awareness of the cybersecurity risk and risk management is performed on an irregular basis or they don't even have a risk management uh, for cybersecurity. There is no formalized process for identifying and responding to incidents and there, there may not be clear understanding of the organization risk tolerance. Simply put here what you're doing, you are driving blind, you're hoping for the best, you have limited awareness of what's going on. And who would have something like this? Typically a small business without a dedicated IT department or cybersecurity personnel. They're rely, relying on basic antivirus software and not having comprehensive risk management in place. So when you are in under those circumstances, you might be under this tier, which is tier one, partial. Now tier two, which is risk informed. Again, each tier is more mature than the prior one. Under this tier, organization have developed some, rather than limited, some risk management processes and have a basic understanding of the risk profile. So you have to, you understand what's out there. That's basically what this, what this tier is. It's not that much better, but it's better than tier one, which is partial. However, these processes may not be consistently applied across the organization. So the problem is it's that, that risk informed, some of that risk management may not, may not apply for every section of the company. And there is some collaboration between different departments to address cybersecurity and management is aware of the need for risk management. So here you are a little bit more aware, but you're not doing much. You're, you're, you have more knowledge. That's basically it. Usually a mid-sized company with an IT department that's aware of the cybersecurity, but lack a comprehensive and organization-wide risk management approach and have a limited incident response capability. So they don't know what to do in case something happened. If you belong to tier three, which is called repeatable, organization at this level, they have established and documented cybersecurity risk management processes. Now they have it on paper, what needs to be done, and they are consistently applied across the organization versus the prior tier where even if you have some of that, it's not consistently applied. Here, you don't have the proper tools to deal with the attacks in real time. So you're aware of it, you have it on paper, but you don't have the tools. That's the problem. You don't have the tools to deal with it. You have a clear understanding of the risk tolerance and its potential impact. You are aware, but you don't have the weapon to fight back. That's, that's what tier three is. So the organization management is actively involved in the risk management process and fosters a culture of cybersecurity awareness. Here you might have a large enterprise with a dedicated cybersecurity team that they implemented risk management program, conduct regular 
risk assessment, and have an incident respond and provide regular cybersecurity training for employees. But you can do better. Where can you do better? Tier four, which is adaptive. In tier four, here the organization have a mature and proactive approach to cybersecurity risk management. Here you're not waiting for the monster to come to your place. You're out there trying to kill the monster before it comes to your place. They, here you are continuously reviewing and adapting cybersecurity practices based on lessons learned, predictive indicators. You're just kind of proactive. You just wanted to predict wh where's the next attacks going to come from. Basically patching your vulnerabilities using advanced technology and threat intelligence. Notice here you have also the tools. You're aware, you have everything documented, but you also have the tool. Here you are actively collaborating with external partners and sharing information to enhance cybersecurity posture of both their organization and the larger community. Here you are practically involved. Who can afford something like this? A multinational corporation. Now, when I say small versus large versus medium, it doesn't mean you could have a small corporation and it could it could have an ad adaptive tier. I'm just giving you an example to kind of get you close to it. But usually an adaptive is a multinational with a lot of resources could have that. That's why I'm I'm saying this. But you could also have a multinational or a large corporation, tier three or tier two, hopefully not tier one. But the point is just to kind of give you a more realistic so you'll understand this. A multinational corporation with a re robust cybersecurity program that uses advanced threat detection systems actively participate in an industry-specific cybersecurity group, continuously adopt its cybersecurity strategies based on real-time threat intelligence and risk management. And every company you want to be in tier four. Why? Because you are well-protected, you are active, you are not waiting for the attack to occur, you are trying to identify vulnerabilities, trying to identify those attacks before they occur, predict them. They have a looking for a predictive indicator based on intelligence. What should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures and look at MCQs. That's going to help you understand this topic. As a CPA, a CMA, uh, accounting students, you want to understand this topic inside out for your exam as well as for re the real world because you could be in charge or you could be involved in committees that deals with cybersecurity. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.